Y'all make some noise for hip hop one time. Okay, so today, you know, we celebrate 12 years of the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival. More importantly, we celebrate 43 years of hip hop. How many people know that makes some noise? As Brooklyn becomes more gentrified, there is a concern about how it maintains its artistic integrity. It's gonna be one of the great battles of the next few years. I think it's something that we need to bring to the doorstep of the mayor and the public advocate and city council. And you have to keep this space available so we can keep creating art. One of the first arts in hip hop was the dance. Not a lot of us to tell the story of the actual place. As more people move in, they kind of move the history out and they forget about the people that actually started the trend or the fads that they enjoy, whether it be dance, music, art, culture, or places to live, period. What the upsides historically, I think, and the struggle, certainly the black struggle, is the art that comes out of it. Everyone's moving to Williamsburg to paint or to do this, and it's great that all these artists are coming together, but it's also not allowing the city to have its own identity anymore. As we lose diversity in these sort of gentrified neighborhoods, a genuine concern is what kind of art are we going to produce? It looks like a glass car parked in Carson. It's like I'm incarcerated. How bars are always an arm fling. I'm like Scarface crossed with Desperado's guitar case. You're laughing. When you I think about how hip hop has been journey, used in more organized, mainstream, academic circles, I don't think it has diluted the actual art itself. I think it does the complete opposite. It raises the profile of the music, the culture, and the people. It helps your acceptance. If we didn't have this sort of academic discussion, we didn't have talented professionals, even like all of us right here, who knows what they may think? You know, you got little black and brown kids at the carousel, you know, we got little Puerto Rican kids writing plays, and we must give them a space to perform. So St. Anne's, wonderful place, even right where we are, they want a more diverse audience in this building. So how do they get that? They partner with us because nobody else is gonna do it. Is everything gonna be a high rise? Are we just all gonna try and get that real estate money? Or are we gonna set aside some places for art and music and culture? We all on the same page, like, yeah, we just want dope art in Brooklyn. 